Welcome to CSC 230. I'm going to go through creating a GORM IDE account for fall 2021. I've done this before, but I just want to do it again just to make sure it's working okay when you guys do it. So I'm going to go to my Warren and go to Documents and Resources. I'm in Bookmarks. Now this is Instructor View, so it looks a little bit different, but I'm going to click on the GORM IDE link. And I'm going to go to Sign Up. And it's not just GORM, it's GORM IDE. So make sure you go to the site that's for the IDE. And I'm going to go to Sign Up. And I'll just follow through and see what happens here. Because we want to make a free account. So I'm going to put in an email. And this is not my email. I'm just using a different email just to create an account. And I'm using the same password that I use for all my other online accounts. And they have a name here. So I'm just going to put my name dash... I guess I don't need a dash in there. I'll just call it Homa CJMY because I'm using that email. I don't need notifications or anything. And I'm going to sign up. And it says verify. And there's an email that's been sent. So let me go check it out. And I just have to hit confirm email address. And it's completed. So I'm going to go back to the sign up page. Passwords do not match. Let me make sure I have that right. And if I verified my account, it should go through. I don't need to save it. And I'm just going to put student if they have it. College, graduate students, I guess that's fine. And it's saying certification with school email. So I guess you have to use your school email. Let me see what happens here. Because they changed some things around, so let me see what happens. I'll use college graduate students. It says certification with school email, certification with school ID. I'm just going to hit save and see what happens here. And it seems fine. It doesn't seem like it requested anything of my school email or anything like that. So that's all I'm going to have to do. It's HOMA CJMY. It's just a free account. And I should be okay uh, unless it emails me and says I need some kind of updated email. But if not, then just use your Warren email, which everybody has. And again, I, I guess as long as we're in here, since that worked, what you're going to do when you go in here, you're going to go to new container and you're going to give it a name and I'll just have everybody call it CSC 230 W1. You don't have to put fall 21 or anything like that, just CSC. And it's all lowercase, so I don't have any capital letters in there. And everything else, you can leave the same Oregon public default not used. You don't have to do anything, but you're going to choose HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You're going to choose that for the stack. And then it's choosing it there. You don't have to do anything else here. And then we'll just hit create. And you have a choice to go to console or run container. If you run container, it starts it. I'll just go to console because I'll just go back here now, and then you could just run it from here. So I'll just run it from here, and just make sure it says HTML, CSS, JS. And this is what'll happen here. It'll create a container, and it has an index file, and it has a CSS file. Now, before you do anything else, let's let's set this up so we have the proper preferences. And we're going to do some things with these files and that'll be part of our EX1 exercise. But let's do a couple things first and then for the second video we'll mess with the code a little bit. So you don't even have to open up any of these things yet. What I do want you to do is two things. One, go down here to preferences. It's a little gear down here. Go down here and you're going to go to editor and you're going to go to mode. And mine is already here, but if it says default or if it says anything else, change it to Emmet because we want to be able to use Emmet. That's going to help us use shortcuts to, to create HTML tags a lot easier. We could just type P and hit tab and it'll make opening closing P tags. So make sure you choose Emmet for mode. They have theme for Emmet, but just use mode for Emmet. That's the important thing here. And I think that's all you have to do. And you could just do apply and close. 
That's one thing you have to do. The next thing you have to do is go to Project, Running URL, and Port. Now they have something down here and it's kind of a default name. Just delete this. It has CSCW and a bunch of things down here. Just hit that red trash can and delete it and hit yes. And a couple things to point out here, it says default port of HTML CSS JS stack is 9090. That means it's gonna run a default server if you put in 9090. So go in here and put in 9090. Don't put anything else but 9090. And then your URL is gonna be whatever you're gonna use. So it could be your username, it could be anything else. So I'm just gonna go in here and put Homa CJMY because that was my username. So I'm just gonna use that as my URL. So that's gonna be my new URL. And before you do anything else, make sure you go down here and check show preview button on the toolbar because then you'll be able to preview your code in a new tab with the server running. So make sure you check this and then just hit register and there it is down there so it's good and then just hit OK and for the next video what I'll go through is doing some things with index HTML and then showing you how to share it and by the way just a little a little uh, preview here of sharing it they have a share this project here and you're gonna share by link so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this link and put it in the comment. I'm going to do that in the next video because I don't have the assignment set up yet. So once I have the assignment set up, you're going to copy this link and you're going to send it to me through comments, through coursework in my warrant. So that's what you're going to do next. But even if you stop here, you're fine. If you go back here, you could go back to your project where you have those files and we'll look at them in the next video. And when you want to close your container, this isn't logging out of... GORM, you could just close your container. Just go here and say close container. And it says, are you sure you want to leave the container? And say yes. And then when you log back in, you'll run this again. Now it still keeps this one open. So it keeps these two tabs open, which I think is kind of odd. But this is what you'll run the next time you log in. So hopefully I won't have any problems logging in. I didn't have any problems so far. We're going to log into this and we're going to do some things with those files and then we'll share that file as our first assignment. But so far everything seems okay. I never had that thing before where it asked me for a college ID or anything like that, but it seems to not really care. So hopefully we're okay so far and if we have any problems we'll just use our college ID or our college email, the one with the warren.edu, if you have to do that. If Worst case scenario, we'll do that. But so far, everything seems okay, because I didn't use a college email to do that. I used a ptd.net domain. So everything's okay so far. So I'm going to sign out of here. And in our next video, I'll go through doing what we're going to do in our first assignment, which is basically doing some edits to our HTML file and then sharing a workspace so I could get into your workspace and see it and edit code if I need to or help you out, whatever I need to do. But that's GORM. So that wasn't too bad so far. So hopefully things will be okay in using GORM IDE. And then I'll show you some cool stuff we're going to do with it.